Let's play a little game of what's in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> I tripped over a tree stump as well. What's in the box? Let's not show those important documents. Yes, guys. What is in the box? Well, if you've read the title of the of of the uh, of of the video, you'll know what's in the box. So let's get her open and have a look at this classic military rucksack. Stay tuned. This was this is this is a kind. Uh, it's not a donation. This is a lend uh, from from Steve who you will remember from Knife Talk with Steve. Okay, so Steve got this sent to my house, the same as he did with the, with, with the other British Army rucksack guys. This is, you, you're gonna know this. Check that out. You, you, is the stick stuck in your tooth, Bruno? Come here, come here. This is unmistakable, this, this camo pattern that is on this bag, guys. This is, is the Belgian army massive rucksack. What is that? What is this? What is this? I don't know. Let, let us have a look, guys. This is, uh, I only opened the box today. Let's have a look at it. Uh, let's go over some of the specs uh, of this, this classic, quite cheap nowadays, rucksack. Goodbye box. Okay. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's a heavy bag. Let's get it on. Oh. Did I break that? Uh, I don't think I broke that, Steve. That might have been broken already. Okay. I think they call this the Belgian jigsaw camel. Guys, and it is, it's just one of those camos that you think to yourself, what, 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 what? I, I don't get that. So, as you would expect, it has, oh, that's like a bird buckle. Guys, a lot of the stuff that's going on with this rucksack reminds me of the old Berghaus rucksacks. And when, when I did a little bit of digging, I realized that that, that is, that is actually the case that, this is sort of... Right, hang on. No, I'm not going to be able to figure this out. <laughs> oh, I get it, yes, okay. So, same, same system, same type system as a Berg buckle. Berg buckle, okay. So it just sort of pops into it there. Let me get the stuff out of my pockets. Okay. I'm a little bit all over the place with this one. Calm down, Morty. You're getting excited. This is it. It's comfy enough. The shoulder, the shoulder pads are, 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 are padded, but the padding is actually quite hard. Okay, don't know if you can see that. It's a big bag, guys. It's a 100 liter bag, uh, and I, I think it's actually a 100 liter main bag, and then, then we have removable side pouches as well. So uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll hang it up on the tree behind me, and we can have a look at it in depth. A 100 liters. Right, we have, it is. Okay, so it, it's made of Cordura type material. Uh, I, have, I, just, I happen to have the French rucksack here as well, guys. Which, and the French rucksack is definitely a thousand Cordura. And it, it is, no, actually, I think it's more. And this feels like less, okay? This feels like it is not as heavy weight, guys. We have our drawstring dividers on the inside. So this is our, I, what I would call a sleeping bag compartment. But you, you European guys, well I know I'm European as well, but you, you Finnish guys and stuff like, like that, Scandinavian should I say, seem to do it the other way around. Okay, so this actually seems to be, this Cordura is backed with something. 
Maybe that's a waterproof coating. So look. See that? So it's it ha it has the standard type uh, waterproof back in here, but it's got a more heavy weight backing on the actual main pouch of, of the of the bottom where where your rucksack or where your sleeping bag would going to be. So it's waterproof. It seems like it's extra waterproof here and here on the inside. Uh, we've got a big large grab handle here, right? No molly or anything like that, but this 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 could be a pre-molly rucksack as, as far as I'm aware. Uh, we have we have straps at the top here for uh, for putting on roll mats, whatever that might be. And guys, we have little things for uh, little little strap holders there. Uh, we have. Quite a rectangular, very wide opening pouch at the top here, guys, and it comes with this panel. Now, I am going to assume that this panel zips on here somewhere. We actually have somebody's ID number on the back of that, guys. Look, and as 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 with all these type rucksacks, uh, each one of these side pouches has got a shoulder strap on it, so that you can zip them together to make a little a little 20 liter day pack. Uh, I'm going to assume that that just zips on there for attaching more stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Guys, this is a big pack. A really big pack. It has a huge... I'm going to have to take it down. It has an absolutely huge main pouch, okay, that has a snow skirt. Just one snow skirt on this. Sorry, Sorry guys. I'm, I'm, I'm comparing it to the, to the F3 there. And then it has an external drawstring as well, guys. On the bottom, we have more. Uh, we have the ability to strap stuff to the bottom as well, guys. And let's turn it around and let's have a look at the all-important carrying system, okay? Okay. Now, as far as I am aware, this is removable, or at least part of it is removable, because I have seen these waist belts for sale on their own, okay? So it's nice, it's comfy, and it is adjustable as well. And what we have, guys, is we have a steel external frame, some sort of a, a, a lightweight steel, it could be aluminium, guys, I'm not, I don't know, external frame that runs from the top of the shoulders down to the bottom here as well, guys. Uh, these straps are not, the shoulder straps are not quick release, but they do have these little nice hanging loops that I like. Uh, for for you know where you, that your hands can rest in if you're walking for long distances. Uh, oh sorry, apologies. They are quick release, but the quick release is uh, here. So pull this down. There you go. Strap release. Oh, and that's 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 clever enough. And is that on both sides? No, that's only on one side. That is good. That is good. I like the way it's only on one side. Okay. Right. This is what we'll do. Oh, I'm finding more stuff. Guys, we got decent sleeves here at the sides. Okay. And of course, when you have the pouches on, there is space down the back that you can put long things down the back of the pouches and you can catch them in here on these uh, on, on these little side pouches here as well. As it goes for the front, that's pretty much it guys. There's no there's no there's no axe loops, there's there's nothing like that guys. Uh, so yeah. Cool. I do like the camo. It's a bit different. I like different camo. I don't know how uh, how effective it is, but uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll zip it all up, 
and uh, I'll put it sitting side by side with the French one and we'll see how effective the camo is in the forest. That's what we do. It's starting to rain. Jesus, rain in the summer in Ireland. Unheard of. That's it fully loaded, right? And this is this is the French F1, F3, apologies. Fully loaded as well, guys. Both beast of bags. Sorry. Let's, let, let's see what it's like on. Now this is only sleeping bags and stuff like that shoved in. But guys, it's not very it's not very heavy. I haven't adjusted it either. But what I find with this Berg buckle type thing is that they are very secure. There's no there's no dangers of them popping open. Let me tighten it up. Okay. It's not bad, you know. It's it's comfy enough. We have load lifters. Super long straps on those load lifters, guys. And we also have tighteners here at the waist belt as well. And all they do is they bring the whole thing in closer, closer to your to your waist here. Guys, you know it's 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 comfy enough. It's it's secure on your back. I'll do a 360 for you guys. But it is big. It is big. Let's uh, let's let's uh, let's have a look at the French one. Because I know I know the different bags, but it is all I have, so that is similar in size. The French is definitely more padded, it's more comfy on the shoulder straps. Straight away you put it on, you can feel it. But the French one is definitely squeakier. More of a 360 comparison than anything else, guys. Definitely feel like, like the French one rides a little bit better. At the moment, I think these are going for about a hundred quid, guys. Uh, the Belgian bag, but you could probably get them cheaper than that. They are army surplus, so do do expect to have a little bit of issues with them. Like there is there is no major issues with this one, uh, in, except that it is a little bit faded in places. Uh, but that is normal. That's absolutely normal with, with army surplus, guys. It seems like a decent bag. If 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 you're into your big bags and stuff like that, this definitely seems seems decent enough. Uh, yeah, sure that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.